Contractors and suppliers, it really is a pleasure for me to be here to just say a few words to you this afternoon um, for what we consider to be a, a preeminent event in the Caribbean. Um, as Liana mentioned earlier, or Marlon, I think it was, we last year, based on our demographics, we welcomed over 400 persons to a conference which was held in Trinidad. And for us, Guyana is a very, very, for me, Guyana is a very special place. I've been coming here since I was that high, and I just got taller, and I'm still coming back, right? But um, the notion of having it in Guyana for the first time really is tremendous. It has circulated, rotated through the Caribbean. Last year was Trinidad, previous year was Miami, and we've had it in the Bahamas, Jamaica, and, and elsewhere. And so this is a singular opportunity for us, not just to hold a conference, but really to raise the profile of the area, subject of water, wastewater, and waste management and to bring an awareness to the general population of, of, of Guyana. I wouldn't preempt what is going to be presented by um, Angela, who is our secretary for the local committee, but certainly to tell you that um, the conference is quite, quite big. It has a vast um, audience um, and participants from all over the world. We have exhibitors coming from Israel and, and uh, Denmark, Germany, the Caribbean as well, United States, uh, and, uh, Canada, and the UK. So it's quite a, a, a big conference. And the objective is for them to come into Guyana and to bring and demonstrate their products and services, but also for us to have discussions on those, these most important subject areas, as I mentioned before. The conference is not just about people sitting down and talking. We are organizing a fun walk on the morning of Wednesday, um, the 18th, I think it is, yeah, fun walk, a charity fun, fun walk. For the proceeds will be donated to a charitable organization here in Guyana. We're having tours because one of the attractions of bringing our people to Guyana is the fact that you have such a wonderful um, product in terms of the touristic value of persons going out into the interior and other places. So the GWI has planned a very wonderful tour to take our participants around to see Guyana, to spend their money here, leave their money here, but also to come back. And so we consider this conference as, as, as contributing to that drive. And I know Guyana is promoting itself as a tourism destination for some time now, and I think this will contribute to it. Um, so we are coming here this afternoon, especially to suppliers and, 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 and contractors, is to encourage you to profile your products, your services, your support for the sector by participating in our conference um, this year. Angela will pre present you with some, some details of how you can participate in those level of sponsorship, every little bit counts, the profiling that you would get from the conference, and we want to leave Guyana with a wonderful memory. Marlon didn't tell you, but Guyana won the competition for the best tasting water last year, beating out Jamaica for after three years in succession. And as he mentioned in a radio show this morning, he didn't win the, win the rum, but he's planning to, is he 50 year old Marlon? He's planning to showcase the 50 year old um, th this, year, um, this year coming. So all in all, it's a wonderful opportunity. We have a lot of um, high level um, agencies who are supporting us, and I'll mention some of them, UN Environment, the Inter-American Development Bank, the Caribbean Development Bank, the Pan-American Health Organization, and others who are supporting the event um, in, in, in various ways and who are going to be here. So it's not just a bunch of people talking. We're looking at issues that are, that are important for the country for, of the region, or countries of the region. We're having two ministerial sessions where ministers from all over the Caribbean will be coming. One is a high-level forum for Caribbean ministers responsible for water, and another one for waste management. So those two forums are going to be held within the conference days. And just for the, 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 um, for the public to note that we usually open the conference on a Wednesday afternoon uh, after 2 o'clock for members of the public, GWI contractors, and whoever else are participating to bring in their clientele to have a viewing of the exhibition on, on that particular afternoon. So we welcome all of you here, and I'm hoping that by the end of the day we can answer your questions and that uh, you know, we bear some fruit by encouraging the participation. It is indeed... A pleasure to be here, to be a part of this conference brief for our contractors and suppliers, because we recognize that you are very, very important in promoting and in executing the plans that we have for the water sector throughout Guyana. 
we believe that if we, if you as the contractors and suppliers supply the right materials and do a proper job, whether if it is that you're given a contract to dig a well, or whether it is that you're given a contract to look at a water treatment plant, whatever contract you have been given, in our view, the government expects you to do a job that is satisfactory, not only to GWI, but to the citizens of Guyana. And therefore, I am very happy that you took time off to attend this brief about the 26th annual conference and exhibition that Guyana is going to host. I think we should all give ourselves a round of applause. It's going to be a history that Guyana is going to hold such a large exhibition and that we're going to have a number of visitors, number of some head of states in some cases in, from countries and a lot of technical persons, a lot of expertise in the field of wastewater, water production, how we can you know, manage and overcome the challenges that we have, especially with the non-revenue water that we tend to talk a lot about in Guyana. We waste so many water. I don't know if it is because our country is called land of many waters, but we found, we have found ever since I came to see oversight GWI and the places that I visited throughout the country, we found that water is being wasted. We have found a lot of leakages. And when we do, you know, simple thing, pipes tend to be leaking and we take it for granted. We take these things for granted, not knowing that we're wasting um, a natural resource. We're wasting a very um, important resource that one day, if we're not very careful, we can find ourselves without water in our homes, in our offices, and you know what it is to be without water. Water is very, very important. I, so I refer it to as our white diamond. Water is our white diamond, and we need to look at our white diamond very seriously, how we can control it, how we can manage it better to the benefit of our people. And so without further delay, I want to encourage our suppliers, our contractors, to get yourselves together, you know, talk with each other, form yourselves into groups if you cannot do it on your own. Get yourself together as a company, as a group, and see how best you can participate in our 26th annual conference and exhibition. As you have heard from the speakers before me, it's gonna be very exciting because there are a lot of activities planned. You will be exposed to to modern equipment. We, we need to, to ensure that our customers, when we are billing them, that they need to have the modern meter being placed at their homes or at their locations. And you know GWI is in the process of um, creating an app whereby people can use their mobile phones to take out pictures where they have leakages. And you can send the picture directly to GWI. You can take out a photograph and let us know. You can take out a picture of your meter and to see if your meter has been you know, accurately giving you the reading of the amount of water that you're being used. So those are some of the things that GWI has taken on board to do. And water is all of us. It's the business of all of us. Whether you be a contractor, a supplier, a minister, a CEO, a chair, or, or a, a customer. Water should be our business. And I always say, water is life, save it. I think it's important, this event, this is important that we highlight this event. And it's being highlighted under the theme, uh, promoting innovation and creativity in water, wastewater, and waste management. And this is linked to the whole aspect of sustainable communities for us in the Caribbean and far afield, but more particularly for us at this juncture in terms of the development of Guyana. We have many challenges as a developing country, and the 
importance of knowledge in getting us to where we have to go and the importance of research is very, very critical to our development. Hence, our agreement to host this conference. I think this is a global conference where we will see many, many different papers being presented, knowledge being shared. And for us, we are presenting a number of papers from GWI. We are actually conducting uh, an important survey, a customer survey with rigor, which will help us in many ways to understand how best we as a utility can service our customers better, despite the fact that we are a state monopoly. I think it's important for us to understand the paradigm of the customer relations and to the viability of the company. And hence, we are doing this research now in preparation for presentation at the conference. So this is a very, very important point. But more so, it's an opportunity for our suppliers and our contractors to be involved in the conference. Because without their participation in our daily work, Many of our challenges uh, we cannot overcome, but they have considerable capabilities which they can share with the rest of the Caribbean and other participants in terms of marketing their products, in terms of being able to share what Guyana has to offer, to be able to generate more wealth for their companies and for Guyana as a whole. So we thought that this is important for us to encourage the participation of the contractors, the suppliers um, in this conference in a very, very active way and not to be bystanders because there is a lot that we have to do in terms of the three areas of water wastewater and waste management. And as we prepare to, with our strategic plan, we are hoping that many of these issues, we will learn in many cases some of the, uh, how to tackle some of the challenges that we have in going.